Welcome to Porphyrin Bootcamp. Today we'll be purifying the TPP we made in the previous episode. For this we will need several things. Firstly, three 2 litre Buckner flasks, a large sintered funnel, uh, some silica and some solvent. Begin by filling your sintered funnel with silica. It will need to be about two thirds full. Ensure the silica is flattened down and then add a layer of cotton wool on the top. Fully dissolve your porphyrin in a minimum amount of a suitable solvent. In this case, we're using dichloromethane. Use sonication if necessary to get the porphyrin dissolved. Add the porphyrin solution slowly and carefully to the cotton wool layer, being careful not to disturb the silica underneath. Wash the flask out with more solvent once you've added the porphyrin to ensure you've added all of the porphyrin product. Apply the vacuum line to the Buckner flask. From this point onwards, it's important to never allow the pre-column to dry out. This can be done by continuing to add the solvent to the top of the pre-column as it elutes out the bottom. Continue doing this until your porphyrin has completely eluted from the pre-column. This should take at least two litres of solvent. Collect your sample in multiple fractions, changing flasks every time the flask gets over half full. TLC or thin layer chromatography is used to check which fractions your porphyrin is in. Use a suitable solvent and a reference sample if you have one. As you can see here, fraction 1 has nothing in it, fraction 2 has an unwanted green byproduct, and fraction 3 has the red porphyrin product we are looking for. Back down all fractions which contain the product that you want into one flask until you have a solid product. At this point you need to precipitate out your porphyrin product to remove any unwanted impurities using two appropriate solvents. In this case we'll be using methanol and dichloromethane. Filter your precipitated porphyrin product into a suitably sized Buckner funnel at using additional methanol to wash the porphyrin if necessary. After precipitation you will end up with a lovely purple solid which you can put into a sample vial to dry.